Hello and welcome to HITC Sport and it's transfer time everyone. The windows open and deals are already being done. City have once again spent big money on a defender while a Liverpool deal came out of nowhere like an RKO from Randy Orton. But there are still plenty of deals to be done before the window closes in October so today we're going to look at every Premier League club's most exciting summer target. Arsenal Thomas Party. Arsenal might sign Thomas Party, ring Arteta around Big Robbie. I don't think that's going to catch on. Anyway, Atletico Madrid midfielder Thomas Partey has been a target for the Gunners for a while now and it's the deal they need to get done. The Arsenal owners need to cough up and pay the cash that Atleti want, dig around another set for some extra pennies if needs be, but Partey is a player that Arsenal desperately need. They've got incredible attackers but a bit more protection in front of the defence could help take them to the next level. Aston Villa side Ben Rama. No matter what happened last week in the playoff final, it seemed all but certain that Saeed Ben Rama will be playing in the Premier League next season. But with Brentford falling short, <coughs> who will make a move for the Algerian? Well Villa have been linked and Ben Rama could fit in perfectly at Villa Park. Offensively they were far too reliant on Jack Grealish, while their wingers were about as reliable as Kepa facing a simple shot. Ben Rama's a wanted man, but maybe Dean Smith can use his Brentford connections to get a deal over the line. Brighton, Josh King Brighton have been busy boys already this summer, signing Anna Lallana and Joel Veltman while they're in a fight to keep Ben White at the Amex. But they're not done by any stretch of the imagination and are reportedly one of the clubs looking at Josh King. While he suffered relegation, King has proven he can really hang in the top flight and will be an excellent addition to Brighton's attack to really compete with Neil Mopé. Burnley, Jock and Mela It's going to be an interesting summer at Burnley and at the end of the season there was actually talk of Sean Dyche leaving. Transfer targets are few and far between as always, but there are rumours that they're looking at Geng full by Jacques and Muller, who would be a great addition at right back, apologies to all the Danes out there, I know for a fact I'm saying that wrong. But seriously, why aren't Burnley ever linked with anyone? Don't they know we've got videos like this to make? Chelsea, Kai Havertz So far they've signed Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech, and now they want Kai Havertz as well. It's almost as if Frank Lampard doesn't know that the reason they didn't win the league this season was the defence. But whatever, the more attacking players the better, and Kai Havertz is en route to being a world class talent. The Leverkusen midfielder is a fantastic watch and already a leader at a tender age, and could make Chelsea even more dangerous. Sure it'll hinder the likes of Mason Mount and Ruben Loftus cheek, but the whole Lampard giving youth a chance thing was fun while it lasted wasn't it? Crystal Palace, Eberechieza The QBR midfielder is one of the most exciting players in the championship, and a man who needs to leave Loftus Road if he wants to test himself at the top level. I mean QBR aren't going anywhere soon are they? It's not even Loftus Road anymore, is it? Anyway, Palace are keeping an eye on Eze, who could add extra creativity to the Eagles midfield and potentially add a Zaha replacement if the talisman eventually leaves. At this rate, it'll be the year 2050 before long, and a 57 year old Wilfried Zaha is still requesting to leave Palace. Everton Leon Bailey As always, Everton has been linked with some mad and daft players, but Leon Bailey is an option that should seriously consider. While Havertz is the main man at Leverkusen, Bailey is another wicked option to have and the Jamaican winger would definitely be an upgrade on what Ancelotti's already got. Speaking of Leon Bailey, remember that weird hour before the England World Cup squad got announced in 2018 and there was talk of Bailey being in it, despite not being English at all. How mad. Fulham, Ryan Sessegnon Come on Scott, bring him home. Ryan Sessegnon was a wizard in a Fulham shirt. Ok, he was just quite good. There was nothing that made you think you could do a job for Hogwarts FC, although this he might have actually played there on like Tottenham. Sessegnon and Ron Weasley on the flanks, what a duo. Anyway, sessegnon has been linked with a loan return to Craven Cottage and it would be a return that should excite Fulham fans. They aren't going to be as mad in the transfer window this time round, there won't be £20 million flung around at random players, so getting someone like Sessegnon back might be as exciting as it gets. Leeds United, Odson Edward One day we'll stop ragging on Patrick Bamford, but today is not that day. Leeds need a goal scorer if they're going to thrive back in the Premier League, and starting the season with Patrick Bamford leading the line would be like turning up to a gunfight with a stick and a block of cheese. Or even just going to the shop without a mask because it takes away your freedom. I mean, come on, get a grip. Anyway, Salix Odson Edwards lethal in front of goal and we a brilliant signing for Leeds, or any Premier League club for that matter, and he's certainly the answer to Bielsa's Bamford shape hole. Poor Patrick, he doesn't deserve all this grief, I bet he's a lovely lad as well. Leicester City, Francisco Trincao. If this transfer happens, I'll be amazed. Trincao's only just about to join Barcelona, now there's rumours of him leaving. The Portuguese winger has been at Braga and impressed enough to earn a move to Barcelona, which may or may not be a good thing considering their recent transfer record. But by the looks of things he'd add even more quality to Leicester's attacking ranks, it would mean they wouldn't have to play Iose Perez on the right wing anymore. I mean no one wants to say that, do they? Liverpool, Thiago Alcantara The Reds have added some depth at left back, but it's midfield where we want to see something special happen. 
and if they can get Thiago Alcantara from Bayern, that could add a whole new dimension to their play. While Liverpool's midfield are all action like a bat out of hell, Thiago is measured and articulate, gliding around the pitch and moving the ball with precision. And if he did sign for Liverpool, a penny for Pep Guardiola's thoughts, the poor bloke would be in tears. How could one of his own sign for the enemy? Manchester City, Kaladu Koulibaly Why spend £350 million on the defenders when you can spend more than 400 That's what'll happen if City get Kaladu Koulibaly this summer. Sure they've got Nathan Ake, but why stop there? Guardiola's reportedly still after Napoli's Kaladu Koulibaly and he would blow the title race wide open next season, if anything it would make City favourites over Liverpool. Koulibaly is one of the best in the world and alongside Americ Laporte it could make Man City unstoppable. Manchester United, Jadon Sancho I don't care what the Dortmund director says, I still think this deal's going to happen. Ed Woodward's going to come running back with his tail between his legs and a big sack of cash to take Sancho to Old Trafford. If it happens, it'll be the biggest signing of the summer and a potential game changer for Man United. They've really picked up in recent months and adding Sancho alongside Fernandez, Pogba and Martial could bring them back to the glory days of Sir Alex Ferguson. Or it'll go tits up like Di Maria or Sanchez, either way I want to see what happens. Newcastle United, David Brooks A few weeks ago I would have been looking at a world class player here, with Newcastle wanting anyone and everyone when the Saudis were taken over. For now though the deal is off and I've got a player who was recently relegated. But whether or not there was a takeover, David Brooks was a top player who would improve Newcastle's attack. The Bournemouth man missed most of last season but looked great on his return and would fit in perfectly in Newcastle alongside Almira and St Maximan. Add a striker who actually wants to score goals in front of them and Steve Bruce might have a half decent team. Sheffield United, Todd Cantwell Back to back relegated players and Todd Cantwell is another player who needs to be back in the Premier League. Sheffield United were linked with him a month or two ago and he could be a wonderfully astute signing by Chris Wilder. He would give the blade something different in attack who would need to evolve after a breathtaking return at the top flight that nearly ended in European football. Southampton, Weston McKennie did you know that Southampton lost 9-0 to Leicester this season? Sorry, just got to mention every time Southampton come up, it's the law. Anyway, not a lot of exciting players have been linked with Southampton, but Weston McKennie could certainly be a good bit of business. The American would be an ideal replacement for Hoiberg and would certainly suit the style that Hassan has got going on at St Mary's. Tottenham, Gareth Bale Right, let me start by saying there's no way Gareth Bale is joining Tottenham this summer and the links of him returning are tenuous at best. I think they just came from some bloke on TalkSport saying he should go back there. But why let the truth get in the way of a good story? Let's start the campaign now. Hashtag get Gareth Bale back to Tottenham this summer as Rembrandt don't want him even though he's still really good at football. Yep, that'll go viral in no time. It would be class seeing Bale back at Spurs, even if it was just so the Amazon cameras could follow him around the golf course slagging off Zinedine Zidane, the slaphead. West Brom, Alfredo Morelos West Brom need goals if they're going to avoid going straight back down, so it's a good job to link with a striker who knows where the bat of the net is. He also knows how to get sent off more times than I've had hot dinners, but that's by the by, he's over that now apparently. It seemed like Morelos was going to be heading to Lille, that hasn't happened yet, and West Brom could pick up a real staff that can get the Colombian to swap Rangers for West Brom, which I'm sure is very similar to Lille this time of year. West Ham United, Samuel Umtiti this transfer rumour is an absolute load of bollocks to be honest with you, so West Ham fans, this is the most exciting transfer title that you shouldn't get excited by. I mean it came from the Spanish press, they'll write any old crap just to get a few clicks or shift a few papers. They claim that West Ham have contacted Barca about signing the World Cup winner, who I'm sure would love the chance to work with David Moyes. Wolverhampton Wanderers, Alan St Maximan We end things with another transfer that I don't think will happen, but Alan St Maximan has been linked with the move to Wolves. If you don't find him exciting then I'm sorry but you're the kind of person that gets a plain ham sarni, ready salted crisps and a bottle of water when they want a meal deal from Boots. Christ, imagine if Wolves had a Dahmer on one wing and St Maximan on the other. Defenders would be tied in so many knots to think they were back in the scouts running away from a Nancy leader. So that's every Premier League club's most exciting target this summer. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. As always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to HITC Sport and until next time we will see you around.